Baltic Languages, Wikipedia Article Audio The Baltic languages belong to the Balto-Slavic branch of the Indo-European language family. Baltic languages are spoken by the Balts, mainly in areas extending east and southeast of the Baltic Sea in Northern Europe. Scholars usually regard them as a single language family divided into two groups, Western Baltic and Eastern Baltic. The range of the Eastern Baltic linguistic influence once possibly reached as far as the Ural Mountains, but this hypothesis has been questioned. Branches Western Baltic languages A Euro Old Prussian a Western Baltic language that became extinct in the 18th century, ranks as the most archaic of the Baltic languages. Although morphologically related, the Lithuanian, Latvian and, particularly, Old Prussian vocabularies differ substantially from one another, and as such they are not mutually intelligible, mainly due to a substantial number of false friends, and foreign words borrowed from surrounding language families, which are used differently. The Baltic languages are generally thought to form a single family with two branches, Eastern and Western. However, these two branches are sometimes classified as independent branches of Balto-Slavic. The Baltic languages are of particular interest to linguists because they retain many archaic features, which are believed to have been present in the early stages of the Proto-Indo-European language. However, linguists have had a hard time establishing the precise relationship of the Baltic languages to other languages in the Indo-European family. Several of the extinct Baltic languages have a limited or non-existent written record, their existence being known only from the records of ancient historians and personal or place names. All of the languages in the Baltic group were first written down relatively late in their probable existence as distinct languages. These two factors combined with others have obscured the history of the Baltic languages, leading to a number of theories regarding their position in the Indo-European family. Eastern Baltic Languages The Baltic languages show a close relationship with the Slavic languages, and are grouped with them in a Balto-Slavic family by most scholars. This family is considered to have developed from a common ancestor, Proto-Balto-Slavic. Later on, several lexical, phonological and morphological dialectisms developed, separating the various Balto-Slavic languages from each other. Although it is generally agreed that the Slavic languages developed from a single more or less unified dialect that split off from common Balto-Slavic, there is more disagreement about the relationship between the Baltic languages. The traditional view is that the Balto-Slavic languages split into two branches, Baltic and Slavic with each branch developing as a single common language for some time afterwards. Proto-Baltic is then thought to have split into East Baltic and West Baltic branches. However, more recent scholarship has suggested that there was no unified Proto-Baltic stage, but that Proto-Balto-Slavic split directly into three groups, Slavic, East Baltic and West Baltic. Under this view, the Baltic family is paraphyletic, and consists of all Balto-Slavic languages that are not Slavic. This would imply that Proto-Baltic, the last common ancestor of all Baltic languages, would be identical to Proto-Balto-Slavic itself, rather than distinct from it. In the 1960s Vladimir Toporov and Vyacheslav Ivanov made the following conclusions about the relationship between the Baltic and Slavic languages, a Proto-Slavic language formed from the peripheral type Baltic dialects, b Slavic linguistic type formed later from the Baltic language's structural model, 
see the Slavic structural model as a result of the Baltic languages structural model transformation. These scholars saw Euro trademark theses do not contradict the Baltic and Slavic languages closeness and from a historical perspective specify the Baltic Slavic languages evolution. Dina pair Baltic languages a Euro. Finally, there is a minority of scholars who argue that Baltic descended directly from Proto Indo European, without an intermediate common Balto Slavic stage. They argue that the many similarities and shared innovations between Baltic and Slavic are due to several millennia of contact between the groups, rather than shared heritage. The Baltic-speaking peoples likely encompassed an area in Eastern Europe much larger than their modern range, as in the case of the Celtic languages of Western Europe, they were reduced with invasions, exterminations, and assimilations. Studies in comparative linguistics point to genetic relationship between the languages of the Baltic family and the following extinct languages. The Baltic classification of Dacian and Thracian has been proposed by the Lithuanian scientist Jonas Bazanavia. I use, who insisted this is the most important work of his life and listed 600 identical words of Balts and Thracians. He also theoretically included Phrygian in the related group, but this did not find subsequent support, but disapprovement among other authors, such as the linguistic analysis of Ivan Duridanov, which found Phrygian completely lacking parallels in either Thracian or Baltic languages. Comparative Linguistics The Bulgarian linguist Ivan Duridanov who improved the most extensive list of toponyms, in his first publication claimed that Thracian is genetically linked to the Baltic languages and in the next one he made the following classification the Thracian language formed a close group with the Baltic, the Dacian and the Pelasgian languages. More distant were its relations with the other Indo-European languages, and especially with Greek, the Italic and Celtic languages which exhibit only isolated phonetic similarities with Thracian, the Tocharian and the Hittite were also distant. Of about 200 reconstructed Thracian words by Duridanov most cognates appear in the Baltic languages, mostly in Lithuanian, followed by Germanic, Indo-Aryan, Greek, Bulgarian, Latin and Albanian. The cognates of the reconstructed Dacian words in his publication are found mostly in the Baltic languages, followed by Albanian. Parallels have enabled linguists, using the techniques of comparative linguistics, to decipher the meanings of several Dacian and Thracian place names with, they claim, a high degree of probability. Of 74 Dacian place names attested in primary sources and considered by Duridanov, a total of 62 have Baltic cognates, most of which were rated certain by Duridanov. For a big number of 300 Thracian geographic names most parallels were found between Thracian and Baltic geographic names in the study of Duridanov. According to him the most important impression make the geographic cognates of Baltic and Thracian the similarity of these parallels stretching frequently on the main element and the suffix simultaneously, which makes a strong impression. Genetic Relatedness Some scholars, including Tuparov, have found many linguistic similarities between Baltic and ancient Balkan languages pointing to the many close parallels between Dacian and Thracian place names and those of the Baltic language zone. A number of possible parallels of the Thracian ethnonym in Lithuania were not found in any other country, including the former capital Trakai, Trakaninkai, Trakiakiai, Trakiakiamiai, Traksata and others. 
Other Slavic authors noted that Dacian and Thracian have much in common with Baltic onomastics and explicitly not in any similar way with Slavic onomastics, including cognates and parallels of lexical isoglosses, which implies a recent common ancestor. Thracian Hypothesis After creating a list of names of rivers and personal names with a high number of parallels, the Romanian linguist Mircea M. Radulscu classified the Dacomoasian and Thracian as Baltic languages expanding to the south and also proposed such classification for Illyrian. The German linguist Schall attributed a South Baltic classification to the Dacian language. The Venezuelan Lithuanian historian Gerate Rosales classifies Dacian and Thracian as Baltic languages. The Czech archaeologist Christian Turnwald classified such languages as Danubian Baltic. The American linguist Harvey Mayer refers to both Dacian and Thracian as Baltic languages. Mayer claims that he extracted an unambiguous evidence for regarding Dacian and Thracian as more tied to Lithuanian than to Latvian. In his first publication he claims to have sufficient evidence for classifying them as Baltoidic or at least Baltic-like, if not exactly, Baltic dialects or languages still maintaining a genetic link within a common language family. In the next and final publication he refers to them as South or East Baltic languages and classifies Dacians and Thracians as Balts by extension. Finally. I label Thracian and Dacian as East Baltic, the fitting of special Dacian and Thracian features into Baltic isogloss patterns so that I identified Dacian and Thracian as Southeast Baltic. South Baltic because, like Old Prussian, they keep unchanged the diphthongs EI, AI, N, and in Lithuanian, to IE, UO in Latvian. East Baltic because the Dacian word A3 fourth Uvid has A3 fourth, not Z as in West Baltic, and the Thracian word Pua is with zero grade Pua as in Lithuanian Pua AS rather than with E grade asterisk Pua as in Prussian Pusa. Zero grade in this word is East Baltic, E grade here is West Baltic, while the other word for A Euroepin, Evergreen A Euro, Preta, Pride is marginal in Lithuanian matched by no asterisk puts in Latvian. In regards to other languages, he claims that Albanian is a descendant of Illyrian and escaped any heavy Baltic influence of Thracian. Geographic Distribution Speakers of modern Baltic languages are generally concentrated within the borders of Lithuania and Latvia and in emigrant communities in the United States, Canada, Australia, and the countries within the former borders of the Soviet Union. Historically the languages were spoken over a larger area, west to the mouth of the Vistula River in present-day Poland, at least as far east as the Dnieper River in present-day Belarus, perhaps even to Moscow, and perhaps as far south as Kiev. Key evidence of Baltic language presence in these regions is found in hydronyms that are characteristically Baltic. The use of hydronyms is generally accepted to determine the extent of a culture's influence, but not the date of such influence. The eventual expansion of the use of Slavic languages in the South and East, and Germanic languages in the West, reduced the geographic distribution of Baltic languages to a fraction of the area that they formerly covered. The Russian geneticist Oleg Balanovsky speculated that there is a predominance of the assimilated pre-Slavic substrate in the genetics of East and West Slavic populations, according to him the common genetic structure which contrasts East Slavs and Balts from other populations may suggest that the pre-Slavic substrate of the East Slavs consists most significantly of Baltic speakers, which predated the Slavs in the cultures of the Eurasian steppe according to archaeological references he cites. Though included among the Baltic states due to its location, the language of Estonia, Estonian, 
is a Uralic language and is not related to the Baltic languages, which are Indo-European. Pontic Steppe Prehistory and History Caucasus East Asia Dacian, Thracian Eastern Europe Northern Europe Domestication of the horse, Kurgan, Kurgan culture, steppe cultures, Bugdniester, Sredny Stog, Dnieperdonets, Samara, Kvalinsk, Yamna, Mikhailovka culture. Pontic Steppe Notes Northern slash Eastern Steppe Mako Europe South Asia Step Afanasivvo Europe Caucasus India Indo-Aryans Iranians Europe East Asia Europe Indo-Aryan Iranian Indian Iranian Others Europe It is believed that the Baltic languages are among the most archaic of the currently remaining Indo-European languages, despite their late attestation. Although the various Baltic tribes were mentioned by ancient historians as early as 98 BC, the first attestation of a Baltic language was about 1350, with the creation of the Elbing Prussian Vocabulary, a German to Prussian translation dictionary. Lithuanian was first attested in a hymnal translation in 1545, the first printed book in Lithuanian, a catechism by Martinus Ma III Fourth Vitas was published in 1547 in Königsberg, Prussia. Latvian appeared in a hymnal in 1530 and in a printed catechism in 1585. One reason for the late attestation is that the Baltic peoples resisted Christianization longer than any other Europeans which delayed the introduction of writing and isolated their languages from outside influence. With the establishment of a German state in Prussia, and the eradication or flight of much of the Baltic Prussian population in the 13th century, the remaining Prussians began to be assimilated, and by the end of the 17th century, the Prussian language had become extinct. During the years of the Polish Euro Lithuanian Commonwealth, official documents were written in Polish, Ruthenian, and Latin. After the partitions of Commonwealth, most of the Baltic lands were under the rule of the Russian Empire, where the native languages or alphabets were sometimes prohibited from being written down or used publicly in a Russification effort. Usadavo, Cernavod, Kyokudani Corded Ware, Baden, Middle Dnieper Chariot, Yamna, Catacomb, Multi Cordoned Ware, Poltovka, Srubna Abashevo Culture, Andronovo, Sintashta Globular Amphora, Corded Ware, Beaker, Unetis, Tritsini C. Nordic Bronze Age, Turmery, Tumulus, Urnfield, Lusitian. BMAC, Yaz, Gandhara Grave. Chernols. Thracosamarian, Halshtot, Jasturf. Kalchin. Painted grey ware, Northern black polished ware. Indoarians. Iranians, Scythians, Persians, Medes, Celts, Gauls, Celt Iberians, Insular Celts, Tokarians, Balts, Slavs, Albanians, Medieval Europe, 
Medieval India Greater Persia Vedic, Hinduism Persian, Zoroastrianism Armenian Paleo-Balkans, Greek, Roman, Celtic, Irish, Scottish, Breton, Welsh, Cornish,